In this video, we are going to talk about how to use forearm rotation at the piano. What's up guys, Tanomaru here. Welcome to our channel, Tanomaru Piano Academy. And here we talk about piano technique from beginners to professional level. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. The forearm rotation basically is this motion. It is similar to what we do uh, when we turn a doorknob so kind of like using this kind of movement right so this is the forearm rotation and it is something that was first described by Tobias Maffei who was born in London in 1858 and he died in Sussex in 1945 and today we are going to take a look on applications on real things that we are going to pick to start learning about this and then we are going to learn about how we can apply the concepts of forearm rotation in handle exercises number one in this case and there are a lot of things that we should talk about this topic and those are things that we are going to take a look on some other videos so this is more of a practical way about how to learn for our rotation but uh, in the future I am going to post videos about the biological effects and the biological sides of the forearm rotation but here we are going to take a look on this which is the handle exercise over here and then we are going to take a look on how we are going to be able to apply those concepts of forearm rotation okay so the first thing is that uh, let's try to learn like this. So the first thing is that we are basically going to start by thinking like this, that we have to rotate in the little fingers, which are the fifth finger and the thumb. We are going to rotate towards those fingers whenever we play them. But So what I mean by that is that if you are playing with your fifth finger, you are going to do a rotation towards the fifth finger and not like the other way the other way would be awkward right and it is kind of obvious and when we talk about our thumb it's the same way so uh, whenever we play with our thumb we are going to rotate towards our thumb so we are going to rotate always towards our thumb whenever we play with your thumb and not the other way of course it is it is kind of obvious but we have to think about this right now and second of all what we are going to take a look is that on those three middle fingers so the fingers two three and four what we are going to do is that we are going to rotate those fingers at the same direction uh, that the notes are going so let's say that you are going to play some passage in which you are going to have uh, a lot of notes going to the right so all the notes is going to the right and what you are going to do is that you are going to rotate to the right so let's say that you're going to play something like this so you are going to rotate the thumb toward your thumb as as we talked about but the other fingers are going to rotate in the same direction as the notes so the notes are going to the right and i am going to rotate to the right and this is something very interesting that if you think about doing the other way it is going to be very awkward so let's say that uh, i am going to show like this that i am going to this side which is my right side so if the notes are going to the right in, and I do the rotation to the same direction as the note so I am also going to do the rotation to the right it feels really comfortable but if I try to go to my right side but I try to rotate the left left side what's going to happen is kind of like like this you know it's kind of awkward and it is not fluid at all and what happens is that we um basically we are going to think like the, that so uh, the little fingers towards them so the fifth finger towards the fifth finger thumb towards the thumb and those three middle fingers so that number two three and four fingers we are going to rotate uh towards the notes all right so with that said well we are going to practice here on the handle exercise what we are going to take a look is that well we have here in blue we have uh, the little fingers, right? So we have finger five here with the left hand. And we also have the finger number one, which is our thumb with, your, with our right hand. And the opposite way in this part, so we have our thumb with our left hand. And then we have our fifth finger uh, in our right hand. And what also happens here is that we are going to have the same direction of the notes. So 
first of all, what we are going to do? So let's try to rotate the little fingers towards the little the little fingers when we have to play them. So uh, in the case of my left hand, I have to rotate the left. When I am going to play with my thumb, I am going to rotate towards my thumb. And the same thing happens to my right hand. So I am going to rotate towards my thumb and at my fifth finger i am going to rotate towards my fifth finger and what is happening with the direction of the notes all the notes are coming to this side which is the right side and because of that my right hand two three and four and four three and two we are going to rotate to the same side which is to the right side because the notes are all going to the right side so because of that what we are going to do is that first we are going to rotate here to the left and then we are going to rotate here to the same direction as the notes so we are also going to rotate here to the right so we are going to ro rotate to the right so the other way that you could see this is by looking at this side of camera and then we are going to have this kind of thing in which we rotate to the left which is the side of little fingers and then we are going to rotate uh, in the same direction as the notes so we are going to rotate here to the right so we are going like this and the same thing is going to happen when coming back so those notes are coming back are coming here out to the left so i am going to rotate with those fingers two three and four here to the left so we are going to have this so we are going to rotate here to the left so we, what we are going to have here is actually quite simple and kind of obvious so which is this movement in which we are going to do this so to the left and then to the right everything to the right and then everything to the left everything to the right and everything to the left and everything to the right and everything to the left So on, okay. So this is the way that we are going to start learning the forearm rotation. So this was the first video about the forearm rotation, and on the following days I am going to post some other videos about the forearm rotation. Uh, I think that I am also going to create a playlist about just the forearm rotation because I already have a playlist about piano technique tips. But I think that. Um, there are a lot of things about the movements like back and forward and the movements that you can do with our wrist that I think that they deserve a playlist dedicated for each of them. And because of that, um, about the forearm rotation, you can start right right now like that with the handle. Uh, if you don't have this sheet music, I am put, the, uh, put this here uh, link down in the description. It is for free, you can see uh, that it is on the public domain and that you can download for free at IMSLP and, and I am going to put the, the, the link here in the description and uh, you know like there are a lot of things to talk about the forearm rotation so uh, like yeah in the following days I am going to post some of that so don't forget to watch those things don't think that just by knowing this video and just by watching this video you know everything about the forearm rotation because it is kind of like a quite complex stuff you know it is something that is also used in the Talmud technique which came um, uh, sometime after the Tobias Maffei and in the Talmud technique you have this approach thinking about the single and double, double rotations and things like that and we are going to uh, take a look on that on, a, on the next video, okay? So I see you next time. See you.